Hi guys, what's up? It's your girl Liv and I'm back with another video and of course my camera is gonna die. It wouldn't be Liv's life without my camera dying. I'll be right back. Okay, so I switched out my battery and yeah. Um, anyway, let me sit down and talk to you guys for a minute. Come say hi to the people. It's your girl Liv and let's talk y'all. It's a new day, it's a new dawn, it's a new life and I'm feeling good. No, but for real, I feel really good. <laughs> Today has been a really good day. Um, yesterday, it wasn't such a good day. Um, my mom left. <laughs> my mom left us. <laughs> I kicked her ass out. I said, get out. Get out. Just like, you know. She left. Um, she had to go handle some things. She had some other stuff. It's none of your beanies. Don't worry about my mommies. I know y'all don't worry about my mommies. Stop worrying about my mama. Worry about your own mama. Okay. But anyway, she's not here. Neither is AJ. AJ! AJ's good! I'm just like, no, but um, my mom took AJ. She went out to Florida, and it's really nice because, and I was so nervous, y'all, but she went to Florida with him so my sister could see him for like a day or so, and then his dad is coming down and taking him up to New York. <sighs> yeah, I'm scared. This is his first time he's going out there to like see his other side of the family and everything. But I'm happy because he's already like Facetime me and and like uh, cause my ex, my ex, whatever you want to call him. I'm not whatever. He's out there in Florida now, so he's gonna take him up to New York to like see his parents and see, you know his kids and just everything. So that's good. I wish I could have went. I was gonna go, but there's just too much going on right now and I can't. Of course he wants to see Kai, but he has work. He has, you know, he's doing he's doing a lot within this time as well. So it's okay. I'm gonna, he's gonna come down here in a few. He's gonna come down here in a few. Um, but that will be when it is, okay? But right now, it's Kai and I, it's just us. Say hi. Can you believe it? Can y'all believe it? Like, she's almost three months, it's crazy. Um, she'll be three months in a couple days. And just the time is just flying. Um, look, trying to eat her hands, acting like she's hungry. The girl just ate. Anyway, I have like a little bit of a headache. Maybe it's because I haven't drank enough water, so I'm gonna drink some more water. Um, in today's vlog, I need to get a couple things done, and I thought I would just, um, pick up the camera and vlog. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's so weird being here. Like, it's so freaking quiet. It's so quiet, just with Kai and I. But yesterday, I didn't, I mean, the night before yesterday, I didn't get a lot of sleep. Because, you know, like, my mom was leaving the next day, and it was really hard for me to let AJ go. And... The separation anxiety and I get it with all my kids and as you can imagine with my three oldest not being here all the time I have it constantly with them but anyway that is what it is but it's gonna be okay right Kai it's gonna be okay AJ's gonna have fun with daddy and then daddy's gonna come out here to see you and everything's gonna be fine. We're just gonna, this is just, this is just mommy's blended chaotic family, okay? But I love it. I love my family. I love everything about my family. So a couple things that I'm gonna do. I was hoping she would be asleep right now. So, cause she just every single time she falls asleep and I lay her down, she wakes up screaming cause I'm not right by her side. So that's why I'm holding her right now. Um, she needs to go to sleep. I need to order some things from Walmart. Her dad actually sent me some money. So I need to order diapers, wipes, batteries for her swing. I need to order like all her stuff. That's what he does. He sends me money. And then I order her stuff for her and AJ for the month. Um, but AJ's not here, so obviously he's buying diapers up there. AJ's gonna be with him for a few weeks. Um, I'm gonna miss my baby, oh my God. Okay, anyway, well, I'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning since she is up. I'm gonna go into the girls' room and clean up their room because when they left the other day for school, I told them, I said, starting Next time you guys are over here, you're gonna when you wake up for school in the morning, you're gonna start making your bed. I want to instill that in them. That was not instilled in me, unfortunately, but it's okay. 
That's fine. Um, I'm gonna instill it in my kids. You make your bed when you wake up. So, I'm gonna do that. Uh, their beds are a mess. Um, I have to just, just clean up. It's not like too messy in there because I make them keep their room clean when they're here. But I'm gonna clean up their room. The kitchen is pretty much clean. I am gonna vacuum up a little bit and I have to work out. So we have to work out. We're staying strong on this. I've lost this, I, I've lost a good amount of weight and I can like see it more than anything. I don't know if y'all can see it. I know I still got the, I still got the chins, y'all, but I can like see me losing weight. It's crazy, but. I'm happy and shout out to STL Medical Clinic. Y'all need to hit them up. I will have everything down below in the description because y'all, these shots are working. My energy is not depleted. Um, I feel amazing. I feel great. And I'm going to be start doing more updates on TikTok and I'm going to like expand that. But anyway, let's just start the vlog. I'm going to go and I'm going to start uh, cleaning the room right now. I'm going to put her in her swing. And yeah, let's just get started. Are you ready to do the vlog with me, Kai? Kai, Kai? You didn't do the vlog of mommy? Oh, and if you hear her, she's um, congested because she got a cold while the kids were here. I already talked to her doctor. Um, I didn't want to take her there because they do have like an emergency slash, it's like an emergency slash, slash clinic where I take her. And I don't want to take her around more sick people. So I just called up there. I spoke to the doctor or really at the nurse, I should say. It was a nurse practice practitioner and she explained everything to me and I just explained what Kailani's going through. Kailani just has a runny nose, she's congested and um she has, she had a cough but her cough is getting better. Everything's getting better. It's just taking some time to leave out her body. But yeah she's congested and then drinking milk 24 7 doesn't help the situation. But yeah just in case you hear my baby she's a little congested little thing. Huh chunk chunks. Yeah, Kai Kai's congested. Anyway, I started doing her some tummy time today, but she was like, girl, give me up. What's wrong with you? Don't do this to me. <laughs> so anyway, we'll try tummy time again next time. But I'm going to clean up until she falls back asleep, and then we're going to jump on it, honey. Yes, we're going to jump on it, and we're going to work out. Okay, we got to get our workout in today. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Let's clean up a little bit. Let's get it. The same way you used to, I require more better than we ever had before. Hoes gon' be hoes, so I couldn't blame them. Basic bottom troll, what do you want greater? I am no wave, niggas be surfing. I show you how to get this pay, will I be stacking? Been in a whole lot of pain, now we laughing Me and Bang making plays till we crashing Yeah, yeah, yeah Don't need to be on the scene, we are the scene yeah. Dripping wetter from head to toe, la baby me Yeah, I get what's mine That's from mine Be my ride Okay, let me turn this off. I'm watching this lady on TikTok. She's talking about GLP-1 medication. I love it, I love it, I love it. I see in my comments people are like, Liv, make sure you have bedrooms and beds for them and this for them and you don't have clothes at that in your house. You don't have shoes at your house. I have everything for my kids. I've always had everything for my kids. My kids, Christian has his own room, which he, I guess you could say, shares with AJ. But it's his room. Um, I'm gonna get him more like a I'm gonna get him more of like a boy bed when we move from this place and I'm gonna keep that bed for whatever. It's just the bed situation in his room, it's like whatever because you know, he's not here as much, my mom is here and you know, and when he's here he doesn't even sleep in his bed. But anyway, that's his space. He has a room for his stuff. Let me show you. Cause just in case people don't know, I don't know if people know this, cause people put in my comments, Liv, you should have this, this and that. Yeah, this is my boy's room. 
like I said, the bed. This was actually gonna be Robin's bed and it still is gonna be his bed. That's the twin bed and there's actually his bed. But due to the space in these rooms, having two beds in one room, it didn't work having this bed and a twin in one room. So that left Robin to have the twin and him to have this. Um, when I move, hopefully I'll get like a a four bedroom house, but I think my girls will still share a room and my boys will still share a room. Um, and that's just what it's gonna be. Anyway, um, but yeah, this is, sorry, I don't know if this closet is messy. No, it's not. My mom has some of her stuff in here, but. Yeah, my son, shoes, you know, this is toys, they're toys. My son, and I have some boxes. I didn't wanna, <laughs> I didn't wanna, um, you know, he has shoes, my son has shoes, my kids have shoes and clothes and everything they need here. This is my girls' room. You know, this is my girls' room. They have beds, they have a TV, they have a closet full of shit, okay? Yeah, you know what I mean? Clothes, shoes down there, and then clothes. So it's like I have full bedrooms for them, full wardrobes. I have the whole nine yards for all my kids, and I always have. Me not having them full time didn't change any of that. I'm a very dedicated mother, and I always have been, and I always will be, and that's who I am. And I will stand ten toes on that. And if you think differently, that's your opinion. And I can't do anything about it, and I don't really care to. But, um... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you talking? So yeah, guys, like I said, I already cleaned the kitchen earlier, so. But this is what I'm gonna eat right now. I'm gonna eat a boiled egg and two pieces of cheese. And I'm gonna try to work out if this baby will ever take a nap. But um, after I work out, I'll probably Maybe eat like a, or I'll drink like a protein drink or something. And maybe like eat a bar. Ooh, a protein bar. Excuse me, ma'am. Anyway, so let me eat. Okay guys, so I just put the clothes that were in the washer in the dryer. Then I just filled up the washer. Yeah, look at this outfit. This is six to nine months. And shout out to whoever got it off my registry. But y'all yeah, look, it has the little stars on it. Can y'all see? This is six to nine months. Okay. Okay. She is a butterball. Okay guys, hold on. You can't even see. We need some light on this beach, okay? Look at that. 
Why are you not focusing, camera? You're so annoying. All right. Whatever. Just good. Just gonna get. Put some soy sauce in there. Some salt and some pepper. And we're gonna eat it with some sriracha. Ooh, that don't that look good? I didn't mama anyone. Mmm. <laughs> These edamame are bun. And this is so easy to make. Anyway. I love y'all so freaking much. And you know, You guys, I just want to leave y'all with this message, okay? So like I said. I ain't shit if I cannot promote better living and like a better life for people and put positivity out there like I really feel like I ain't shit if I can't do that or if I'm not doing that you know in this world that we live in like why not do that if you have the opportunity to be negative or positive why are people why are more people not choosing positivity why myself included I'm talking to myself included um I don't know the devil is very real but so was God okay so I just want to leave y'all with this I have been choosing to be the bigger person no pun intended I know I'm a big I'm a big girl but um no pun intended but I have I've been choosing to be the bigger person in a lot of situations and you know what I'm gonna say and this is probably why people choose negativity over positivity it sucks it sucks being the bigger person it sucks. It don't feel good. It don't. It probably feels good in the long run. But the instant gratification, like that good ass feeling you feel being a negative ass bitch. Like that real good. Like it's like an adrenaline rush. You feel like, you know, doing the negative shit. You don't get that from being like the bigger person, the more positive person. You, uh, like avoiding the drama. Mm -mm. But... It probably pays off in the long run, but I feel like a lot of people are playing with me and are trying me, and as you guys know where I'm from and who I am, and it's hard for me <laughs> to be the bigger person, but I'm training myself new, new ways of maneuvering through life and you know I'm just trying to make the better decisions in you know discernment what we talked about earlier um but I love you guys I love y'all it's not easy out here for a pimp <laughs> no it's not easy always choosing the right thing and being like uh the better person the bigger person and you know but I'm sure it's worth it in the long run. And I'm, yeah, it is. Because I already feel better. I felt shitty earlier and yesterday. But today, I'm feeling better. And I'm feeling good that I did not give in to the negativity. I didn't give in to the bullshit. I didn't give in to the drama. I didn't give in to that shit, you know? It feels good now. But at the time, I was like, bitch, get her. <laughs> but you know, and then I had the angels little mother. Liv, calm down. We're trying to live a better life. So I'm like, all right, all right, all right. Calm down. <laughs> you know, it's all about discipline. There we go. I'm disciplining myself, my actions. You know, I'm becoming more disciplined with myself. That is the word I was looking for. And if, let me tell you, it feels good. There's something about a disciplined ass bitch that can't a lot of people take from. You feel me? You can't really fuck with a woman like that. A person like that. A person who knows discipline. So, yeah. I love you guys. <laughs> and I'll see you guys on the next video. Remember to always what I ask you to do? Be you, do you, and of course, love you. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.